What is up guys, Joe Snow right here. So today in this video we're going to talk in a very short uh, video about the uh, Sonic Dev jailbreak that apparently uh, was here lately and some people got into it, into this link. And uh, yeah, I got a couple of questions on the private messages uh, asking me if this is real, if this is true, because probably now if you navigate here, uh, you got this interface, you click install and uh, it will pop up some uh, verbose or kind of simulator to a verbose called jailbreak me sapphire downloading cda installer and so on so, so forth looks extremely legit looks extremely good looks like um it's really downloading something and so on and so forth so i got a couple of questions is this jailbreak real for ios 10.1 ios 10.0.3 and so on we're going to see in a couple of seconds if it's real or not and if it's not why and if it is why because I want to clarify these things once and um, forever. I saw uh, lately that a couple of people uh, started to uh, badmouth this uh, developer Sonic Dev for, for this jailbreak and for this, uh, for this utility in general. And we're going to see what is wrong with, um, with it. All right, so we have this um, web-based thing right here. I'm running a 32-bit device. I'm going to show you what happens for you to see once and for all. It says continue, I'm going to hit it and it will start a process of installing a profile that's not signed from Sonic Dev. This guy is on Twitter as well, I know it. Uh, I know him um, personally from Twitter and he is a uh, Cydia Tweak developer. You can follow him for more information. If you click install, you're going to see this, click install, you got a warning and install again. And theoretically, this should install Cydia, right? Well, let's see, yes, it did, but is the city app real? Well, when you open it, you got this. It is a web application, right? You can go ahead onto it, you can add a couple of things, but it is not the real city. Now, this is where everybody started to have a problem. It says iPhone 3.1, and this iPhone is not 3.1, because iPhone 3.1 means iPhone 4, and iPhone 3.1 cannot run iOS 10.1. And this device is not even on iOS 10.1. But that's another thing. Well, let me explain. This is where everybody started to say, oh, hell no, this jailbreak is fake. Well, it is not fake, but it is not real as well. Why? Well, Sonic Dev, as you know from here, is basically a tweak developer. This is a concept. This is not a real jailbreak. I don't know who came across this for the first time and said, oh, look, this is a jailbreak. No, this is not. This is just a concept created by him in order to probably test the user interface because as you can see the user interface is extremely good, looks extremely uh, familiar and if you go to his page to sonicdev or sonic.net you don't see that thing advertised on his Twitter or on his page and that's because this is not a real jailbreak and he never said it is a real jailbreak and everybody should try it. It's just a concept. Now, a couple of you don't know what a concept means and I'm going to have its uh, definition right here, right now, because you really need it. But this is it. It's not a fake thing. This guy is not a faker, a jailbreak faker or something like this. He's not trying to scam your money or to make you install some kind of applications uh, that are paid on your device. But he's probably messing a little bit around with the uh, web applications because this is... What you're seeing right now, it's a web application with kind of um, uh, extensions right here that allows it to have some um, controls. But this is not meant to be a real jailbreak. So do not use it if you want to jailbreak. Do not say it's fake because it's not. It's a proof of concept, something that can be created but requires, of course, a couple of exploits and so on and so forth. But as I say, he never advertised it as a real jailbreak. So again, I saw a couple of videos on the internet lately saying that his tool is fake and so on and so forth. Uh, you, I think you really need to, uh, to look on the uh, concept term to see what it happens when you, uh, when you have that. So yes, next time you come across Sonic Dev's um, Sonic.net web page on the jailbreak page, Make sure you don't install that if you think that's a real jailbreak. Because even though it installs a kind of Cydia, it is not a real jailbreak. Just a concept. So don't start attacking uh, Sonic 
for for this as uh, you say it's fake and so on and so forth so forth because he said it is a concept this is it i really hope this clarified a lot of things and i really hope you will understand now the difference between a concept and um, a real jailbreak there is no jailbreak for the moment no real jailbreak that is not a concept for the moment that you can use on ios 10.1 but of course if you stay updated on our channel subscribe to our channel right here uh, we're going to keep you updated on everything that happens we got a playlist for jailbreaking that you can go ahead on playlist scroll and get it from here ios jailbreak updates and you can click this plus up here and if you're logged in, you can save it to stay updated on wherever we're doing. And you're, you're going to get the updates. Now that iOS 10.1 has the beta 5, we expect it to be released soon, probably on uh, October 27. And after that point, the jailbreak will can, can and will drop at any point. So you just have to stay tuned. Thanks for watching, I really hope you got everything clear now and till the next time do not forget to subscribe as I say to stay updated and peace out.